Mate, do you want cancer? Do you want diabetes? Do you want heart attacks? You gotta eat healthy mate. 50% of the people will be told you have cancer. Don't be amongst those people mate. Do you hear me? Don't be amongst those people mate. Heart attacks or heart problems or failure. Do you understand? Even now mate, you're getting a heart attack as I'm talking to you mate. This is ridiculous. If you were eating healthy, this wouldn't have happened to you mate. I'm not at the gen yet. <laughs> Number one is too expensive. Whoa, bro, don't eat that. That's unhealthy, mate. What are you playing at? I bought this cookie, yeah? Two packets for one pound from Lidl. Mate, it's not about getting a bargain with the food all the time. It's got to be healthy and stuff, though. But it is for me, because it's cheap. It's not about being cheap, my beautiful friend. I'll tell you why. You're not going to be thinking that when you're sitting on the bed and you got cancer. And you know what mate your kids are going to be thinking? Dad's got cancer. What's dad going to be thinking? He's not going to be thinking about that cookie that was cheap. He's going to be thinking I need to pay for years of chemotherapy. Are you going to afford that mate? Number two. Is all process anyway. Mate how many times? Got to eat healthy and that isn't it? What? Everything's processed anyway. It don't matter if everything's processed. Lesser of the two evils. If one thing's gonna kill you in two years, the other's gonna kill you in 20 years. Which one are you gonna elect? The second one, mate. The second one. It's multiple choice, mate. At least guess one of them, mate. Sheesh. What's the education system doing to our youth, mate? Huh? Huh? Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Number three. What is the alternative? Eating leaves. Mate. Got to switch to healthy eating, yeah? Why? You want me to start eating leaves? Well... Do I look wild to you? Yeah. What? Yeah, to both of them. Start with eating leaves. There's so much variety nowadays. I mean, what's the alternative? Eating from Simon the Scientist's lab, mate. No. sir re Liverpool. I go gym. In it. Eat healthy and that, innit? I go gym, innit? <laughs> <sighs> Mate, stop flexing. There's nothing there. It's just mostly flab. Let me be real with you. Let me be real with you. You spending one or two hours in the gym is just gonna get rid of one bar of chocolate, mate. It's just not enough. So you going gym, mate, unless it's coupled with healthy eating, isn't gonna do much here. What? What do you mean, what? Did you just listen to what I said? It was very articulate and well chosen and spoken, mate. Number five. Atersetip ente afen. Mate, cancer enduring stuff, mate. Why do you poison your body with this sort of stuff? Bruv, chill, innit? Like, dead people eat this stuff and they're fine. They're not fine. <coughs> you okay, yeah? <coughs> but other people are fine, though. Yeah. But you're not fine. You, mate, can react quicker than other people. And plus, you don't know what's growing inside of other people. Underneath all that flab, there might be some tumour. Don't know, mate. Don't feed it with this gunk! Number six. Too busy. Mate, I thought I told you to kind of cut the junk food and that, innit? Man's too busy, Vlad! Man's ain't got time! Busy hustling, man! Ain't got yeah. time, bro! Yeah? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have time when you're sitting on bed with cancer, mate. What? Heart disease, diabetes, mate. You're gonna have time then, isn't it? Yeah, that shut you up. Go on, get out of my face, you toe rag. Don't need a biscuit, mate. Go out there and hustle with your McVitie's. Number seven. I don't like to waste food. Mate, what's going on? Your belly's getting bigger and bigger, mate. Man does not like to waste food, innit? Me eat everything. Mashallah, that's good bro, it's commendable. Yeah, I get that. But mate, you gotta decide. Wasting food or dying a terrible, terrible, terrible death Wasting with heart food. disease, cancer and diabetes. Wasting food? No, it's the second one, you muppet. Number 8. I am stressed. Mate, what's this mate? You've been eating the chocolates again. It helps me, you know. Stressful day, you know. Relaxes me, you know. Mate. Without it, I'm nothing. I get it. You're relaxed now. Temporarily. This stuff is gonna relax you permanently. This sort of stuff is just poison. You take it then. 
Why, why are you giving me poison then? Number nine. Life is too short. How's the diet going? Good, yeah? <laughs> yeah, YOLO bro! What? You only live once, yeah, on this planet Earth and I gotta maximize every opportunity, you know, enjoy every moment. I get that bro. If you're maximizing, this is minimizing. Huh? This is processed GMO food, mate. You wanna live once, make sure it's a healthy, happy existence. Number 10. Eat, is halal, do. Mate, why am I catching you at the biscuits again? What's going on? Bro, why are you always having a go at me? It's halal, isn't it? It's halal, Mate, halal ingredients. Mashallah, bro. that's good, yeah. brother. But halal. You got no pork in there, bro. Yeah. Gelatin. Mashallah, it? good job, bro. So just because something's halal doesn't mean it's properly sourced. It just means it's properly sacrificed, and there's no haram stuff in there, mate. Halal does not mean healthy. Whatever we eat eventually goes into our bloodstream, goes round our body. It gives us energy. That's the energy we use to do da'wah. That's the energy that we use to raise our kids. That's the energy that we use to become productive members of society. And if that is poisoned by these GMO and processed foods, guys, then I'm afraid it affects every aspect of our life, including our spiritual life. And remember, there will be at least 50% of you guys watching who will hear these words. I'm sorry, but you have cancer. And if you look at the biggest killer on this planet, it's heart disease. Yeah, and guys, it's ridiculous. Sort out your diets rather than going gym or whatever. I've listened to so many experts, all of them. I've seen one trend. They all say rather than going gym and all that, eat healthy first. You gotta take that first step, guys, and I promise you, Make that sacrifice and I promise, promise, promise you, your life will get better. Follow this advice, stay safe, grow, be awesome, productive members of society. And until next time guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Stop brother! Why? Why you do that? <laughs> Mate, why am I catching you with the biscuit again, huh? Why? <laughs> Whoa, bro! Don't eat that, mate! What? It's unhealthy! You chucked me cookie away! Don't! I'm not a genie, yeah? You can just rub the apple, what the? <laughs> Got yeah? you <give> in it! <laughs> hey! Whoa. Relax! Look after your health! and do something useless with your life. He doesn't even understand that I said useless instead of useful. What a mug. It just means it's properly sacrificed and there's no haram stuff in there. <laughs>